Hey, so what's up? Uh, Janky here, and I've got something really cool today. This is a uh, cigar box guitar, not just any cigar box guitar, but this is a Lobo. So this is made by Johnny Lowe, John Lowe, and I think he lives in Memphis. Um, I see him all the time when I go to Clarksdale, Mississippi. Um, I play with Reverend K.M. Williams, and Reverend plays one exactly like this. Uh, I think it's a bigger cigar box. Um, but like I said, Johnny Lowe, John Lowe makes these, and uh, this is number 40315. I ran into him at uh, Joint Fest and said, hey man, I'm, I would love to get one of these. Um, and later he said, come on by, he's got some at Cathead. And so this was hanging on the wall at Cathead. He had a few of them there. I looked at this one. This one's the one I like because it's just like KM's. It's got the two strings here. And it's pretty much just a broomstick. I'm sure it's just a, a dowel or a piece of wood. Um, but it is pretty much a broomstick with a Cuban cigar box here. And um, so this one, uh, like I said, uh, pretty standard tuning. He's got um, uh, the, the single pickup here. He does make some of them with two necks or with a bass string right here. That you have a bass pickup and a treble pickup. This one is just the treble. This is just like KM plays it. Played with him enough and, and hear what he does with it. And it's, it's truly amazing. But besides that, there is another cool thing about this. So right after I bought this, I went to eat somewhere. And lo and behold, I'm sitting at the bar with my brother. And boom, Kenny Brown walks in. So there you have it. Kenny Brown right there. Uh, took a few pictures with him and was like, dude, this is meant to be. This is like my new cigar box, and there is Kenny Brown. So I took a few pictures with him, and then I walk outside, and of course, um, Roger was going down the street, um, and so I asked him to sign it as well. I um, thought I'd just kind of finish it out, you know. Um, I'll give you a good look at it here. As you can see, you've got the LB logo. Got a bottle cap there. Got your two tuners and your nut with the string here and the neck. Again, this is, uh, seriously, it's like a broomstick. And then uh, some gas, uh, some pipe uh, hose clamps here. And this is his pickup. It looks like it's heat shrunk right here. Um, and uh, got another clamp there. And then this bridge is just beautiful, man. I don't know where he gets all this stuff, but... The end, the, the tail piece here, you know, you can see the strings are coming through right here. And then this beautiful uh, copper tail piece where the electronics go in. Looks like he soldered it. So, I mean, maybe the guy's a good plumber. Who knows? He's a cool guy. Um, he's got the shop in Memphis, I think it is, uh, Xanadu. Um, like I said, this is a Cuban cigar box. Um, the guy that, that bought him this cigar box uh, contacted me and said, you know, hope I enjoy this. Um, but this, again, is just a beautiful work of art that is played. And like I said, uh, I've seen Reverend K.M. Williams just completely set the place on fire with two strings. And this thing sounds great. I'll play it for you, and I might show you a little bit um, a video of him playing it. But uh, look at that, man. That's, that's beautiful, man. That is really beautiful. Um, Stain on the neck here. Um, sounds gay, great. So I'm going to play it for you here. I'm playing through a Fender Blues Junior. Um, and this is what it sounds like. Here's something cool as well. So I got this, uh, this is the Octavix. <laughs> it sounds awesome with this, so check this out.
<laughs> yeah, so dirty, dirty, dirty. Check it out. Lobo.